Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I want to show you how you can keep track of attendance in Microsoft Teams. And this is something I say for all my Microsoft videos, my HR department requires it. I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. So what does it mean to keep track of attendance in Microsoft Teams? Well, let's take an example. Let's say you're a teacher. What you could do is you could see when students joined your class on Teams, you could see when students dropped off, or maybe a student snuck out in the middle you could see when they left, when they rejoined, you get all of that information. Or maybe you work at a workplace and one of your coworkers was unable to attend your meeting. You could use an attendance report to verify that and maybe you follow up with a recording after the fact. So whatever your reason is, it's very easy to keep track of attendance and I'll show you step by step how you can do that. Now to be able to track attendance in Microsoft Teams, two things need to be true. One of them, you have to be the meeting organizer to be able to see the attendance. So let's say your teacher, you could download the attendance report, but none of your students will be able to download the attendance report makes sense. And then secondly, your admin also has to enable attendance reports in Teams. So as long as those two things are in place, you'll be able to download attendee reports. All right, well, sound good. Why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how to do it. All right, well, here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams, the desktop app open. And let's pretend that maybe I'm a teacher. And so here's my weekly schedule. And I only teach one class a week. And the class focuses on a detailed history of Kevin Stratford's YouTube channel. I know this is riveting content. I'm sure all my students will need to attend. The really difficult thing is this class starts at 6 a.m. And I've noticed that there's been questionable attendance for this class. So maybe I wanna track how many people are showing up. So I'm gonna click into this meeting. Here you can see that I have five different students in this class. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm the teacher, I'm the organizer of this meeting. I'm gonna go ahead and join the class to see who else is hopping on. There I am as well. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join this meeting. So I am now in the meeting and I'm waiting for other people to join. So what I'm gonna do now, so I'm here as the organizer or the teacher, I see no one else is here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up a browser window that also has Microsoft Teams open. And this is one of my students for my class. Her name is Emily and she knows that I keep track of attendance. In fact, if she clicks into the calendar invite here, uh, she'll see some message that says, remember, you won't want to miss this lecture as I keep track of attendance. So, you know, after seeing that, Emily's gonna wanna make sure that she joins the class. So what can she do? Well, let's go ahead and click on join. Here it's gonna ask me if it wants to use a microphone and camera, and I'm just gonna go ahead and block that for now. We're gonna continue without audio or video, and we're gonna jump into the lecture. So here now, Emily is in the class, and here I'm gonna click on Show Participants. So you can see that we're both in this class now. What I'm gonna do now is, let's say that Emily joins for a few moments and she just really can't stand this subject matter. Uh, so she's actually gonna go ahead and drop out of the class. So let's go ahead and drop out. Now I'm gonna go back to my view or the professor's view. And what we see up here is right now I'm the only attendee left. I see that Emily hopped on and then she dropped right back off. So let's say that, you know, here I can simply look at it and I know that Emily joined, but let's say you have a large class with maybe 50 or 60 people. It'll be hard to keep track of who was there, who wasn't there. If someone came late, someone left early. So what we can do is up here in the people pivot. So if I click on the participant view, up here in the top right hand corner, there is an arrow that faces downwards. And with this arrow, if we hover over it, it says download attendance list. What I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and click on this. And what'll happen is Teams will download an attendance list file. And it looks like Teams has successfully downloaded it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up File Explorer and where Teams puts it is in the Downloads folder. So if I go to Downloads, I'm gonna click on that. Here I see that I have a meeting attendance list and if you download multiple ones of it, it'll simply append the next number in the series here after the title. So I'm gonna go ahead, let's click on this report. It's a CSV file, so a comma separated file and or comma separated values. And so what it's gonna do is here it is opening it for me in Microsoft Excel. 
And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expand the columns and here you can see I'm the teacher or the professor and I joined uh, here at 9.51 p.m. And then I could see that about a minute later, Emily joined. And so here I see that she joined at 9.52. But what I don't understand is why she left my class so quickly. Is my content not interesting enough? Here she left after, uh, it looks like it was a little under 20 seconds. And so what this report does, it'll show you when people join, when people leave, and it effectively gives you a way where you can track attendance. So here I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and you can see exactly what's entered on this CSV file. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna go back and I'm gonna rejoin as Emily. And, when I, and I want, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how as a student, you're unable to get this same report. So here, Emily is gonna rejoin the session and right now she's connecting. And once again, to get the report, you go through the participant view. But in this case now, there's no similar icon here for Emily because Emily's one of the students and you probably don't want students downloading the attendance reports. You wanna limit that to the teacher or to whoever's organizing the meeting. All right, well, that was a really quick example of how you can track attendance using Microsoft Teams. You could simply export a comma separated value file. You could open that in Excel or any other application that could open that file type. And then you could use that to see who was there, who wasn't there, how long people were there. Uh, so it's a pretty useful tool that you could use in Microsoft Teams. Anyway, if this video helped you learn how you could track attendance in Microsoft Teams, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos and tips and tricks like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope to see you next time. Bye.